And you've had the opportunity to join the WWE. You haven't done so. Yeah. Why? Uh, uh, you know, there's this. I actually, well, I had a small little stint in WWE and their farming system, and uh, it was called Deep South Wrestling. Right now, current day fans would probably relate to that as NXT. Right. And, um, you know, it just wasn't for me. I learned a lot. There was a lot of things that helped me take the next step after I left WWE. But um, I had always felt that when I had full creative control over my own person and my own ideas, that I could really, um, I could be the true me and the real me and show my full potential. Uh, so you're are, saying they wouldn't, you don't believe that they would have allowed you to do that? Uh, at that stage of my career, probably right. not. So, um, I mean, 10 years later, 12 years later, maybe, yeah, you know, now would be a good time. So I was actually heavily considering going there uh, earlier in the year. But, you know, AEW, of course, this new promotion that we've got going, uh, that just seemed right for me. And uh, I always get really excited at the idea of having full creative control and uh, just doing new things, man. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's, sometimes a, there's sometimes a job where you have to really conform to a certain system or you have to perform to a certain standard or in a certain way or people want to manage you and then micromanage you. And this is a situation where, okay, you're going to be part of this multi-million dollar, billion dollar company and we're giving you the ball. So just give us Kenny Omega. And to me, that's exciting as a performer. So. I felt that that was probably what was best for me as of right now.